Let's start with Ekapada Rajakapotasana Pigeon Pose Starting on your hands and knees, slide your left knee forward and angle your left chin under your torso until your left foot is at the front of your right knee and your left chin is resting on the floor. Slowly slide your right leg back, straightening your knee and resting the top of your thigh on the floor. Lower your outer left backside to the floor. Position your left heel just in front of your right hip. Your left knee may slant slightly to the left, away from your hip's line of alignment. Backing up, notice your right leg. From your hip, it should extend straight back. Your torso should be raised off to your thigh. By pushing your tailbone downward and forward, lengthen your lower back. Draw your right front hip point slightly forward toward your left heel. After holding the position for a few breaths, release one hand at a time before lowering your torso over your left leg and to the ground while maintaining a long spine. Rest your forehead on the ground or your forearms and stay for a few breaths. Return to your hands and knees after rising and taking a breath. Repeat on the other side. Prasarita Balasana Wide Child Pose Come to your hands and knees on the yoga mat. Spread your knees as wide as your mat keeping your feet on the floor with the big toes touching. Put your forehead firmly on the floor while bringing your belly to rest between your thighs. Relax your jaw, shoulders and eyes. If resting the forehead on the floor is uncomfortable, rest it on a block or two stacked fists. There are many arm configuration options. You can either draw your arms back alongside your thighs with the palms facing upwards or extend your arms out in front of you with the palms facing the floor. However, you can also extend your arms in front of you with your palms facing upward for a shoulder release or you can try bending your elbows so that your palms touch and resting your thumbs behind your neck. Do whichever makes you more comfortable. Stay as long as you like, eventually reconnecting with the steady inhales and exhales of your breath. Baddha Konasana – Butterfly Pose Sit with your spine erect and legs spread straight out. Now bend your knees and bring your feet towards the pelvis. The soles of your feet should touch each other. Grab your feet tightly with your hands. You may place the hands underneath the feet for support. Attempt to bring the heels as close to the genitals as possible. Draw on a long breath. Press the knees and thighs down toward the floor while exhaling. Gently press them downward and continuing doing so. Start now by raising and lowering both legs in the manner of a butterfly's wings. Increase the speed gradually after a slow start. Continue to breathe normally at all times. Fly as quickly as you can while maintaining comfort. Go slowly, then halt. Inhale deeply, then lean forward while maintaining a straight spine and an upright chin. Press your elbows on the thighs or on the knees and push the knees and thighs closer to the floor. Feel the stretch in the inner thighs and take long breaths while relaxing the muscles more and more. Take a deep breath in and bring the torso up. As you exhale, gently release the posture. Straighten the legs out in front of you and relax. Prasarita Padottasana 
wide-legged forward bend pose. From mountain pose, step the legs three to four feet apart into five-pointed star. With a flat back, exhale forward, bringing the palms to the floor under the shoulders. Use the arms to pull the forehead down towards the floor, bending the elbows towards the back wall. Press into the feet, lengthening the legs to press the hips toward the ceiling. Feel the spine being pulled in opposite directions as you press the head down and lift the hips up. Breathe and hold for three to eight breaths. To release, reach the arms out to the sides and inhale back up into five-pointed star. Adho Mukha Shvanasana, Downward Facing Dog Pose. Get down on your hands and knees, placing your knees precisely beneath your hips and your hands just in front of your shoulders. Turn your toes under and spread your palms out, burying your fingers into the four corners of your hands. Breathe out as you raise your knees off the ground, initially keeping them slightly bent and lifting your heels off the ground. Lift the sitting bones toward the ceiling. Lengthen your tailbone away from the back of your pelvis and drag your inner legs from your inner ankles up through your groins. On an exhalation, push your top thighs back and stretch your heels toward the floor. Straighten your knees without locking them. Your index finger bases should be actively pressed into the ground as you firmly extend your arms outside. From the wrists to the top of your shoulders, lift your inner arms. Draw your shoulder blades toward your tailbone, pressing them firmly against your back. Maintain a head in arms position. Stay in the pose for 10 or more breaths. These yoga poses can be beneficial during menstruation because they provide the needed peace and calm by relaxing the muscles, focusing the mind and removing any anxieties or worries.